So in this video, we're going to look at unwrapping the unit circle. And to unwrap the unit circle, what we're going to do is end up graphing the function y equals sine of x. So an important thing to note, first of all, is that any point on the unit circle denoted by the coordinates x, y can be found by taking the cosine of the angle and the sine of the angle that determines that. So what that means is, if, for example, if I wanted to know the cosine of 30 degrees, which is also the cosine of pi over 6, I would get root 3 over 2, the x corner of that point. Or if I wanted to know the sine of 4 pi over 3, I would just look at the y value, or negative root 3 over 2. And we're using the fact that, uh, that well, the sine is the height above the x-axis. So for 30 degrees, for example, or pi over 6, we're going to use radians for this, is this distance right here, the distance from the x-axis. And how we're going to use this is to, what we're going to do is graph the, the function y equals sine of x. And how we're going to do that is by taking the pieces here, these sine legs that I've just drawn in for all the angles. So, I'm going to just move the legs over to the corresponding values on the x-axis. And if you notice, I've transferred over these x, x values out are the angles found for each one. So I continue this for all my angles. And you notice there's a gap because there's a bigger gap between the angles. For example, the distance between pi over 2 and 2 pi over 3 is larger than the distance between 2 pi over 3 and 3 pi over 4. Now, I don't need to forget, I'm going to skip one here because pi is actually the height is 0. So my next one is there. And you can do this with the cosine as well. The only difference is you'd be plotting the distance from the y-axis instead of the x-axis. The result would be similar. So it's relative, that's kind of rough, but that, there's your general shape. And now that's just the height, that just tells you the y values. So now I'm going to fill in the actual curve itself, which is going to be roughly this blue line here. And so blue line there, that is the graph of y equals sine of x.